Use fiberglass resin jelly. Fiberglass resin jelly is an effective adhesive that plugs holes in boats and replaces rusty parts in cars. When used and allowed to cure properly, Holes and rusts are taken care of for a long period of time and allows you in return to use your boats and cars under utmost safety. Here's how to use fiberglass resin jelly correctly. Prepare the following. Fiberglass resin jelly is a product that can cause harm to your eyes and skin so avoid being exposed to this product while you're working. Exposure can make you itch badly and the ingredients will sting your eyes. In order for you to be protected from exposure to it, you must wear goggles, face mask, gloves, and denim coveralls. Do not begin to handle this product if you don't have all four of the gear that is listed here. Next up, you'll need a good brand of fiberglass resin jelly resin cloth that adheres to fiberglass saw hammer lint resistant cloth measuring tools such as a ruler or protractor scissors water resistant paint paint brush medium and large bristled sandpaper begin repairing the damage with your protective gear on Take the saw and saw off debris surrounding the damaged area. Support this action with a hammer to dislodge the debris completely from the said area. While wrapping the area with the hammer, try to see if the surrounding fiberglass is giving way. That should be removed as well. Wipe the damaged area with the lint-resistant cloth. The cloth will absorb moisture from the area as well as completely remove stubborn dirt that did not come off when the saw and hammer were used. Use as many lint-resistant cloths as required and discard the same immediately and safely when you are done. Take the measuring tool. Measure the damaged area and add an inch to the final measurements. Cut a piece of resin cloth. With the measurements that were taken plus the extra inch added to these measurements, Take a scissor and cut a piece of resin cloth that you need to cover the damaged area. Cover and plug slash seal the damaged area. Use the resin cloth to cover the damaged area and then with a paint brush in hand, apply the resin jelly over the entire resin cloth. Repeat the application until the cloth is soaked with the adhesive. Leave the covered area to cure according to the specifications stated on the instructions that came with the resin jelly product. You must repeat this procedure until you can see that the damaged area has leveled with the rest of the machine. This means that when needed, you must keep piling on resin cloths and plugging the cloths with applications of the resin jelly. You must allow the correct curing time to pass in between layers at this time. Then when you have completed all that's required to repair the damage, Proceed to the next step. Prepare to smoothen out the damaged area. 
Take large squares of sandpaper and sand the repaired area until that smooth and without visible rough patches. Complete the repair by painting over the area. Dip a large bristled brush into a can of water-resistant paint and cover the repaired area with it. Repeat the application of the paint as needed. Hose yourself down thoroughly and put away all your protective gear and materials in a safe place away from sunlight. Do not mix your denim coveralls with your regular clothes in the laundry basket. You might transfer toxic products on your regular clothes so exercise plain old common sense on this one. There, you're done.